Hi everyone! In Highly welcome, you're highly welcome to my channel, your highly favoriteness, Amara. In today's video, we are introducing a new series of video for menstrual cycle, how to calculate a menstrual cycle, how to know that you're ovulating, and as well as how to know you're safe and your own safe period. So in today's video, I want to share with us how to calculate your menstrual cycle, everything about how you should calculate your menstrual cycle, because so many people are confused on how they should count their menstrual cycle some are confused why their menstrual cycle are not coming the same date that it came the previous month then others are asking why is it that their cycles are irregular and also how are they going to know that their cycle is going to come next month or the date that their cycle is going to come next month so that they will be prepared to avoid their menstrual flow from dating their clothing you know this video is very important for everybody be you a woman be you a man and it's more beneficial to single ladies if you know you're a single or a young girl that just started menstruating this video will get you will definitely help you on how to calculate your menstrual cycle and also how to prepare for your cycle for the next month or for months that will come so and in order to make maximum part of this video kindly get a small paper and a pen i recommend that you get a blue and the red biro it will help you in this charting and they are going to make use of a calendar like here i have a calendar here with me you can make use of a calendar something like this or you can make use of a calendar something like this this is the calendar that i'm using for for this video so i'm gonna be using this for this video because this is how i normally do my own i create my own personal calendar so let's get started like i said what we're going to discuss today is about the menstrual cycle So we're going to talk about the menstrual cycle so this is the calendar that i'm going to use so get a book or get a paper then create your own calendar you can create the calendar for six months use your pen use your barrel to draw a calendar for that month and you write the months there but this is the calculation how to calculate your menstrual cycle let's, let's say that this is calendar for for october 2021 and your period started on the third on the third of um, october and the next period started on the 31st of october so once your period starts you use your red bio to circulate when you use your red bio to circulate you come under it and say period starts period starts when your next period starts then if your period if the next one started on the third on the 31st of october on the 31st of october and this one started here so to calculate your period is you count from the first day that your period started and a day before the next period that is what we tell you how many days that you had for the last one so let's count this is third is your first day so the first day that your period starts is the first time that you start to count so this is day one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight so what it means is that if your period if you saw your period on the third of october if you saw your period on the third of october or the third of december and the next period started on the 31st of december then you count the number of days that means that you have a total number of 28 days 28 days cycle in october do you understand do you understand what i just did now if your period started the first day that you saw your flow the first day that you saw the blood stain on your pant is the first day that you start to count 
then you count to the next period you have to count to the next period so your period starts on the third and another one starts on the 31st that means if you count from this third to a day a day before the next period a day before the next period because your next period will start counting from this 31st do you understand that is how you count it and each of the month after counting you write how many days you have at the end of it so get a don't just get a separate book for this because i recommend that you 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 do this for at least six months you have to do it for at least six months for you to be able to say that this is how your cycle is or how your cycle normally comes do you understand so when you do it for December you do for January you do for February that's how you continue to to do what to record your cycle then then another thing that is important that you need to do at each day of your period and that's your paper every day every day in that your paper what you should be doing is see i don't know how to bring this thing close but what you should be doing is say that this is the first day of your cycle you just write period starts like i wrote here period start then the next day you say period still flowing period still flowing then the third one as in every day everything that you feel every day as a woman if you want to start studying this then you need to be visiting this book before you sleep or first thing in the morning now say the day that your period started that you are feeling somehow feverish you just write period starts feeling feverish that is you are feeling your temperature is running the next day you continue to then the day maybe your your period will flow for one two three or four days it will stop for some people their own flows for five or six days now when it stops you now write period stops that is with your red pen period stops then on the ninth day you start watching yourself you start watching yourself if there is any presence of pimple in your face if there's any presence of anything at all anything you feel you feel moody you feel angry somebody stressed you you go for exams you help someone to prepare for for wedding you are part of an asobi you as in everything that happens to you in that month every day anything that is significant make sure you write it under the calendar under each day you will understand why i'm saying that you should write this is you're going to understand it when i will talk about how to calculate your safe period so write everything that you feel even when you feel pain by the side when you feel like you, you, you your social desire is heightened everything in that moment write it to your next period come so it's better you use red pen to write when your flow is still coming that is this is when your flow started and this is when the flow stops then you continue writing it will help you to know the changes in your body and also to know why your period is changing and also the importance of this is at the end of each month maybe this month now you have 28 days there is every possibility that in january you may have um 31 days february you may have 27 days march you may have 26 days as in it doesn't come 28 days every month so what you write under will help you to know if there is anything that happened that made your period number days to do what to change then another question that i receive always from people is they say like is it a must that the period okay period started on the third of december now they are preparing for the period to start on the third of january it doesn't work like that and though sometimes it may occur like that but that is not how it works so that is the essence of this calendar you don't need because you may be waiting for eight of next month and the period will just come and you see yourself stain because you are not prepared but when you keep this calendar this calendar is going to help you very well then there is another thing also that i want you to note when you go to if you're a woman here and you've gone to see a medical doctor for one problem or the other they will always ask you when was the last time you saw your menstrual period when was the last time you saw your period and also if you answer that they will say how many days does your period come so some people may not know what to answer in this kind of case because you know, for you to know the number of your period days you need to monitor your period for at least six months so i'm going to show you how i monitored my period for a period of um for a period of six months so that was in 2018 say in 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 june in june your period was 33 days then in in july it was 29 days 
in August, September, October, November, December. So say in August, it was 30 days. September, it was 27 days. Then October, it was 32 days. November, it was 27 days. For instance, in this in this thing that I did here, if you monitor your period for a period of six months, as in for six months, you may get something like this. There is no 28 days here. So for you to answer, doctor, for you to know how many days that your cycle is, you need to divide, you need to add everything together and divide it for six months. Say you monitor your period for 12 months. If you, if you add everything, you divide it by 12. But this one, I monitored it for six months and I'm going to divide it by six. Whatever value that you get that is your average menstrual cycle that is your average menstrual cycle and that is what you're going to tell your doctor so we're going to sum up 33 plus 29 plus 30 plus 27 plus 32 plus 27 all divided by six this six signifies six months do you understand so that is what it signifies then when I sum it up, the whole thing will be, just do the calculation with me, then the summation will be 178 over 6. Then this thing will give me 29.6. So approximately, when you do approximately, it will be equal to 30. So in 2018, my cycle was 30 days. For you to know your cycle days, you need to monitor your cycle for 6 good for six good months so you need to start now if you've not started for this month you can push it till next year it will help you to know yourself it will help you to know yourself then i forgot to say something initially some women are asking how would they know when their next period is coming since i said that if the period comes today being the 8th of december that is not going to come at the 8th of january there is no guarantee that it should come at that time how to do that is just like i said monitor your period for at least six months when you monitor your period for at least six months then you get what your cycle is for how to know when your next period will come is calculating the little phase if you are able to know your ovulation phase and also your your menstrual phase then it will help you when it the menstrual yeah. cycle has three phases we have the menstrual phase we have the ovulation phase then we have the little phase and this little phase is constant every other phase can change but the little phase is constant and it's 14 days that is 14 days after you must have ovulated so if you are having a 28 cycle after you you must you will ovulate on the 14th day likely on the 14th day that is 12 to the 14th day then after that 14th day the next 14 days is when you experience you you'll be expecting your period then if you're having a 30 day cycle then after the 16th day which is your ovulation day then the next 14 days is when your cycle is going to come do you understand then also this is the things that you need to know for your menstrual cycle and i know that you enjoyed this video if you do kindly like the video then subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed my name is amara uzodi the registered nurse midwife practicing in nigeria then our next video we're going to talk about other things that i mentioned and having said that see you bye